In our search for companionship and connection, it's easy to focus outwardly, looking for someone else to fill the gaps in our lives. Yet, there's a profound truth often overlooked. The journey to meaningful relationships begins within. Today, we delve into the importance of self-awareness and personal growth before venturing into the realm of romance. Through the lens of Stoicism and other insightful philosophies, we'll explore how understanding ourselves sets the stage for healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Stoicism, with its focus on inner harmony and personal virtue, offers a valuable perspective on this journey. It teaches us that before we can truly connect with others, we must first establish a deep, harmonious relationship with ourselves. So, let's embark on this introspective journey together. By cultivating self-awareness and personal growth, we lay the groundwork for meaningful connections with others. Let's discover how becoming someone of substance and character is not just a philosophical ideal, but a practical pathway to enriching our relationships. The Stoic Foundation, Knowing Yourself. At the heart of Stoicism lies a powerful principle, the importance of knowing oneself. The Stoic philosophers, like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius, emphasize that true wisdom starts with a deep understanding of one's own character, values, and capabilities. This self-awareness is a cornerstone in building not just a life of virtue, but also in forming meaningful relationships. Let's take a moment to reflect on this profound concept. Think about your own life. How well do you truly know yourself? Are you aware of your deepest values, your strengths, and areas where you need growth? This introspection is crucial because our relationships often act as mirrors, reflecting our innermost selves. I encourage you as a viewer to embrace this journey of self-discovery. Stoicism teaches us that understanding who we are at our core, recognizing our virtues and acknowledging our flaws, is the first step in building authentic and fulfilling relationships. By knowing yourself, you lay a solid foundation for understanding others, thereby enriching the connections you forge. Building your identity beyond external validation. In the pursuit of a fulfilling life, the journey of building a strong, independent identity stands paramount. This process goes far beyond seeking affirmation or approval from others, including potential romantic partners. It's about forging a self that is anchored in personal values, beliefs, and aspirations. The philosophers of old often spoke about the strength of character. Stoics like Epictetus taught that our true worth comes from within, not from external accolades or the gaze of others. This internalization of self-worth is crucial. It empowers us to stand firm, even when the world around us is in flux or when we face rejection. But how does one begin this journey of self-building? It starts with introspection. Engage deeply with your thoughts and feelings. Ask yourself, what are the principles that guide my life? What brings me genuine joy and fulfillment? This introspection is not a one-time exercise, but a continuous process that evolves as you grow and encounter new experiences. As you delve deeper into self-exploration, you'll discover aspects of yourself you may not have been aware of. It's about acknowledging both strengths and vulnerabilities. Building an identity also means embracing and working on these vulnerabilities, not hiding from them. This is where true character development happens. Philosophically, building your identity is akin to sculpting. Each experience, each challenge shapes you. You are both the sculptor and the marble. Remember, the goal is not to create an image that pleases others, but to carve out a true representation of who you are. As you do this, your self-esteem begins to root itself in something more solid than the fleeting opinions of others. In relationships, this strong sense of self ensures that you approach others, not from a place of neediness or a desire for validation, but as a complete individual. This approach leads to healthier, more balanced relationships. You bring to the table a person who is self-assured and authentic, qualities that are inherently attractive. So, take this moment to reflect. Are you shaping your identity based on external validation, or are you on the path of self-discovery, building an identity that reflects your true self? Embrace this journey, for it is in understanding and developing ourselves that we truly become ready to connect meaningfully with others. Marcus Aurelius, The Power of Self-Control 
The wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, offers invaluable insights, especially in the realm of personal relationships. Aurelius believed deeply in the virtue of self-control and discipline, seeing them as essential to living a meaningful life. In the context of relationships, self-control translates into the ability to manage our impulses and emotions. Aurelius emphasized that our reactions, more than the actions of others, determine our peace of mind. This stoic principle is incredibly relevant in modern dating and relationships. It encourages us to pause and reflect before responding, ensuring that our actions are aligned with our values and long-term happiness. Consider this. How often have impulsive reactions led to regret in your relationships? Aurelius teaches us to embrace restraint, to think before we speak or act, especially when emotions run high. This isn't about suppressing emotions, but understanding and channeling them in constructive ways. Take a moment to reflect on your approach to relationships. Are your actions driven by fleeting emotions or grounded in thought-out rational decisions? The practice of self-control, as taught by Marcus Aurelius, is not about denial, but about making choices that lead to lasting happiness and harmony. Epictetus, Freedom and Independence Epictetus, a revered Stoic philosopher, profoundly believed in the essence of independence, both emotional and financial, as a cornerstone for a fulfilling life. His teachings are particularly salient when considering romantic relationships. Epictetus taught that true freedom and happiness come from within, not from external sources like relationships or material wealth. He stressed the importance of being self-reliant and in control of one's emotional state. This perspective is crucial when entering into relationships. Depending too much on another person for emotional fulfillment or financial support can create an imbalance and lead to discontent. Consider your own life through the lens of Epictetus's philosophy. How dependent are you on others for your emotional well-being? Do you find yourself seeking validation or happiness from external sources, particularly romantic partners? Similarly, assess your financial independence. Are you in a position where a relationship is a choice rather than a necessity for financial security? Epictetus encourages us to cultivate our inner resources, ensuring that we approach relationships not out of need, but out of a desire to share our already fulfilling life with someone else. This level of independence not only leads to healthier relationships, but also contributes to our overall sense of freedom and happiness. Reflect on areas where you can increase your independence. Remember, the journey towards self-sufficiency is both empowering and liberating. Aligning closely with Epictetus's teachings on freedom and personal responsibility. Seneca, the role of wisdom in relationships. Seneca, one of Stoicism's most profound voices, placed immense value on wisdom, particularly in the realm of personal relationships. His insights offer a timeless perspective on navigating the complexities of love and partnership. Seneca saw wisdom as more than just knowledge or intelligence. It was the ability to apply learned principles to life's varied situations, including romantic endeavors. He believed that wisdom enables individuals to discern the traits that truly matter in a partner, beyond superficial attractions or fleeting passions. It's about understanding oneself deeply, and in turn, understanding what one truly seeks in another. Consider how wisdom can play a role in your own relationships. Are your decisions in pursuit of partners based on fleeting emotions or deep understanding? Do you seek qualities that align with your values and contribute to mutual growth? Wisdom, as Seneca taught, also involves recognizing the impermanence of life and relationships and thus approaching them with a sense of gratitude and presence, rather than possession or fear of loss. It's about embracing love as a shared journey of growth and understanding rather than a means to complete oneself. Reflect on how you can cultivate wisdom in your approach to relationships. How might a wise perspective change your current or future relationships? Seneca's teachings encourage us to seek connections that are rooted in mutual respect, understanding, and a shared journey of personal growth. As we've journeyed through these philosophical insights, it's become clear that the path to meaningful relationships is rooted deeply in knowing and developing oneself first. The wisdom of Stoicism, along with insights from Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, Seneca, and others, illuminates a fundamental truth. To engage in a healthy, fulfilling relationship with another, we must first establish a solid relationship with ourselves. Before stepping into the world of romance and companionship, 
it's crucial to cultivate your own identity, values, and sense of fulfillment. This isn't just about preparing to be a good partner, it's about being a complete individual on your own. When you approach relationships from a place of self-awareness and maturity, you're more likely to attract and nurture connections that are enriching and balanced. Remember, the journey to finding love is as much about introspection as it is about connection. It's about building a life that you're content with, independent of someone else's presence. In doing so, you not only become more appealing to potential partners, but also ensure that your future relationships are grounded in mutual respect, understanding, and growth. In conclusion, the philosophical path to love and life is not about seeking completion in another, but about finding that completion within yourself. As you continue to grow and understand yourself, keep these lessons close. They are not just guiding principles for love, but for a life lived with purpose, wisdom, and fulfillment. Embrace your journey, cherish your individuality, and when the time is right, share that beautifully cultivated self with someone who resonates with your values and spirit. Remember, the most profound love stories are those where two wholes come together, not where two halves are seeking to be made whole.